The Close Call. Green, red, and gold apples hung from trees in clusters. Soon they would make their way to baskets and the smell of cinnamon and apple pies would waft throughout the neighborhood. Mountainous piles of leaves would fly as children jumped into them. Pumpkins were popping up all over the place. They would soon claim places of prominence on porches. Jack-o'-lanterns spookily carved to welcome happy trick-or-treaters. Halloween night was inching closer. It was a time of costumes, candy, and contagious fun. Maddie the mouse couldn't help but look forward to it. On Halloween night, she would emerge from her hiding place to find bits of candy corn left on sidewalks. She enjoyed nibbling on the crumbs of candy. But it wasn't always safe to be alone outside after dark. There were legends about what hid in the darkness. Maddie's family often spoke of the clan of great horned owls that would arise when the sun set. They were very dangerous predators. The leader of the owls was called Odysseus. He had been named king due to his crown of pointed feathers, or so the story said. But this Halloween night, Maddie was feeling rather brave. After her feast of candy corn, she decided to visit the nearby pumpkin patch for a little nibble of pumpkin. Bats littered the sky. Maddie had never met a bat and didn't plan on ever meeting one. As Maddie climbed the thick vine of a pumpkin, she heard the flap of great wings. Sharp claws scraped the tip of the pumpkin, causing Maddie to tumble off its vine. She landed in a heap on the ground. On the pumpkin's stem stood Odysseus the owl, looking rather smug. What a brave little mouse to be out on this dark Halloween night. Maddie backed up into a large pumpkin. Come now, little mouse. Maddie wanted to close her eyes. She wished Odysseus hadn't seen the whip of her tail or the shadow of her whisker. She wished she could disappear. Why are you so frightened of me, little mouse? Odysseus didn't wait for her to answer. I just fancied a conversation in the moonlight. You see, so many flee from owls. I hear many murmurs, nasty things said about us. It must be the talons, unnerves, other animals. Odysseus crooned. He flexed his claws, looking particularly threatening despite his call for friendly conversation. Well, I'd best be going now. It's way past my bedtime, Maddie said, sounding braver than she felt. Now, 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 did I say you could leave? How very rude of you. Odysseus's brilliant yellow eyes glowed in the dark. Well, if you're going to behave like that, there's one thing I despise, and it's a lack of manners. And dropping the act of friendliness, Odysseus jumped from the pumpkin to lunge at Maddie with his beak. Ouch! A bat had thrown an apple at Odysseus and it hit him on the head. Come and get me, you silly old bird. The bat called. Odysseus raced after the bat. But as his wing strokes were graceful and powerful, the bats were fast and jumpy. The bat zigzagged and darted through tree branches, causing Odysseus to become very dizzy. Until next time, Odysseus scoffed, taking off in another direction. Maddie couldn't believe it. She had been saved. Hi, I'm Bartholomew. Bartholomew the bat. Maddie stayed silent. It's okay. He's gone now. I scared him off. Bartholomew said proudly. So, what's your name? Maddie, thank you for saving me. That bundle of feathers doesn't scare me. Anyway, I've got to go. Many bugs out tonight. Nice meeting you, Maddie. And Bartholomew leapt into the sky. Oh, and Maddie, happy Halloween. He called, and then he was gone. Maddie took a deep breath. This was certainly a Halloween to remember. Maybe bats weren't so bad after all.
Happy Halloween! We upload new videos every Thursday. Click that red subscribe button so you never miss one. We'll see you soon.